Our relationship with the dwarves of Khazadum is difficult at best. In the early years of our fledgling empire, Balin stood as a steadfast ally, offering troops and crafted metal to our cause. Together we purged the foul goblins from the ancient halls of Moria, and jointly ushered tranquility into the veiled domains of the Misty Mountains. Yet alas, that serenity proved fleeting. Now we find ourselves fighting deep within the dark caves of Moria and the echoing halls of Hazadun. While some dwarves maintain their fidelity to our purpose, rejecting the avarice and ambition that taint Balin, a considerable number have turned against us. Whether ensnared by dragon sickness or inflamed by a refound enmity towards the elves, the maladies gripping their hearts admit but one cure. A fitting trial for our newly appointed Marshal Aurot. The way is lit, the path is clear. He requires only the strength to follow it. And soon, very soon, the fount of precious Mithril shall fall into our possession. Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to our Nolder of Region campaign in Third Age Total War, Divide and Conquer. It is an absolutely beautiful day today because it's snowing in Belgium and I love the first day of snow and I feel I should specify that because snow at first is a lot of fun and then it just becomes this, at least in Belgium, this like slurry, muddy, brown goo and trains don't know how to run anymore, people don't know how to drive anymore, it's a mess but the first day, I love it. It's just the perfect scene to just sit inside and either read some Lord of the Rings or play some Lord of the Rings, and I'm going to pick the latter for now, because we are continuing, of course, with the conquest of Arayador. And in the last episode, we got rid of Angmar, we took down Kandum, and with that, the faction is gone, so we have more than avenged Ecthelion. Well, for now, uh, more vengeance will come. Uh, we also took Mythlont, held Mythlont, so the Kinslaying script is officially over, which means Aladan, Arohir and Elrond have joined our armies. We also successfully defended at Forlond, and I believe some reinforcements have already arrived. Yep. Um, am I rebuilding the wall? Yes, I am. So, you know, it's just a matter of getting some troops that, to the front line, and then we can start taking settlements like Thorin's Halls, like... Kirigathol, I think it's called. Uh, more settlements up north, wealthy settlements at that. Uh, and the trap is kind of being sprung on both sides on the evil factions, let's call them that. But we are starting this episode with a very large scale battle. Sire. Because Elrond had just about had enough of these pesky dwarves of Khazadum. Um, so we can attack Captain Glen, who's hiding in here. You can't see him, but he is there. The garrison of Khazadum will sally out. Which is a bit of a shame, I would have liked to fight in the settlement. And if everything goes according to plan, we will have the settlement soon. And it's riches inside. The bars of power is like, slightly against me, but I don't see too many problems. The ballistae are a pain in the ass, okay, but I've got cavalry, so not a problem. They only have three proper units in this army, these three guys, the silver guys. All the other stuff is just crap, honestly. Generals are dangerous, and then we got some decent guys here, but they're all like low numbers, 36, 31, 25, 139 of it are doing pikemen, but besides that, there's nothing that really stands out. There's a lot of them, yes, but we're outnumbered 2 to 1, but I'm definitely outskilling them like 5 to 1. Just these guys alone could probably win this battle. So I can't say I wholly agree with the balance of power. I think this is not going to be too difficult, but, you know, don't want to get too cocky. So without further ado, let's slaughter about 3,000 bloody dwarves. Put an end to this evil. Oh, well, the terrain might disagree with me, though. That's, that's a real pain. Actually, okay, it's not that bad. I thought we had to deploy behind the hill, but oh my god, this terrain is horrible for my horses. Okay, that was an awful noise I made there. Horrible. But uh, that is what it... I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Don't get me wrong. But it will require some careful positioning. Same for my siege equipment. I don't think I can just plop them anywhere. Uh, I can't plop them anywhere. Okay. Um, gods, this terrain is awful. 
Who the hell thought this was a good idea? I'm gonna deploy more up here, I think. Like, this is actually manageable. Um, let's see, siege equipment. Okay, catapult can move a bit in the back. Arches, I don't really have much in terms of arches, but we do have Elrond. We will check out Elrond. You come on behalf of the Elves of Eregion. You need to update your voice line, mate. I mean, he looks pretty stoned out of his mind. Look at him. But, yeah, all in all. Looks like a pretty swell guy. I got a lot of infantry. I'm going to deploy them in a bit of a sensical manner. Um, we don't have to worry about cavalry, so I can put my more elite units in the center and then my flanking force on the edge. And I'll throw in the Region Warriors behind them. Cav. I don't know where the AI will deploy. I might still have to agree with their horrible terrain a little bit. Oh my god, they're all the way over there. So we're actually going to face the reinforcement stack first. Which is fine by me. we got a bit of a terrain advantage, but... They're dwarfs. They don't have calf. They don't have archers. Well, they have archers, but not that many. So the um, advantage they do get from the terrain is minimal. So should be able to just neutralize that for the most part. Uh, yeah, let them sit or let them come. Doesn't matter. By the time they reach me, the other army is already dead. Unless they run, in which case they'll be dead tired. As you all know, dwarves are natural sprinters, but that, my friends, is not a sprint. <laughs> That's an Iron Man. Alright. Good, good, good. Let's take down the garrison first. Out of the two, I'd say it's the more dangerous army just because of the two generals. There's one, Zenith Guard. Alright, lads, get in position. It seems they are coming to us, which is. Completely fine by me. Let's ungroup you lot. Slow down the time. I wish I could do that in real life. Like slow down time and speed up time. I'd speed through work and then I'd slow down whenever I'm having fun, you know. When I'm recording these videos so I can record for five hours but it's just one video. You know? Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. Makes sense in my mind. Alright, Catapult. I'm going to have to ask you to chill a little bit. Because you're not really doing anything useful. It is not time for you to leave Middle-earth, that is true. You were close to it, though. No? Zenith Guard, yes, shoot them. Poor swords. Imagine being the dwarves and you're being out technologyed. That's exactly what's happening to these pricks. Alright, they are moving, but it's gonna take them way too long to reach me. So we'll just give them some time to set up. My cab won't be able to charge from this side. Bit of a mistake on my part to go to the... Well, not really the corner, but to the, the side. Ah, there's that catapult. Oops, I didn't realize I had a catapult. I thought the other army had siege equipment, but not this one. Well, the other army has siege equipment. I just forgot about these guys. So that's a bit of a pain. Oh my god! That is a massive pain. Holy shit! I didn't realize the splash damage from those mortar shots is that big. Okay, we need to put an end to that right away. Like, make no mistake, this needs to end. Watch them kill Elrond right away. <laughs> uh, get out of the way, shield guard. Yeah, 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 put an end to this nonsense. Okay. I'll happily sacrifice my horses if I must. Just whatever gets rid of these bricks. Okay. That could have been a lot worse. And those guys that died... You know, they'll be the first to heal, so. Welcome to Eregion Health Insurance. We've got you covered. Alright, lads. Let's not give them any room for annoyance. Let's just march out, deal with them. Off we go. Off we go. 
Catapult could technically still fire, but it doesn't seem like they're doing that, so that's good. I'm gonna have to ask my siege equipment to stop firing now. Okay, I already got some Zenith Guard trap there, wonderful. Okay, now is the time for the cavalry to reign supreme. Where are my knights? There we are. That Zenith Guard is so screwed. There's one elf all the way over here, one of my smiths. Oh. Careful for the catapult, they might reinstate it. No, it doesn't seem like it. Does not seem like it. Most of the troops are just kind of all over the place, which is fine. Those pikemen got absolutely destroyed. Now, let's do it again on the other board infantry. Okay, pull back. That's not a good charge. Not what we like to see. Do I want to keep my troops alive for the most part? That's an extra Zenith guard back there. Power of the Eldar. Locks own army morale. Rallies own routing troops. Plus 200% own car. Army combat effectiveness. Minus 500 own army fatigue. So that seems quite good. Seems pretty on par with my Nail's ability with the exception of the fear doesn't invoke fear but that's okay the, the combat effectiveness is honestly what matters most okay they got their troops in a kind of annoying checkerboard pattern makes it hard for my calf to perform but that's all right they are giving them what's worth See, I don't want to go for the Calf Sandwich, because Calf Sandwich is not so much for dealing damage, it's for routing troops. But if they're not close to routing, because, you know, their general's still alive, then Calf Sandwich is not a good strategy. I'm really zoning out my Calf, which is quite annoying. Alright, Archer, stop firing. Save your ammo for the other stack. Aha! Gurin! Is that the main general? I have no idea. I should really memorize the names of the main generals at all times, because it does matter, but... Alright, that's... As long as no one's running, then I'm gonna assume it's not the main general. Yeah, that's the Zenith guard. That's probably the main general, because he's in the far back. Right! Charge! Jerks. Oh. Charge the shield guard. Go help them out. 18% for 45. That's good. That's good. Can live with that. Now we'll have more than enough time to prepare for the other army, and they'll be dead tired. I mean, I'm not a dwarf, but you can only imagine having such short legs does put you at a disadvantage when you have to go hiking a tall-ass mountain. Alright, nice. Travelers, send them one final travel plan to hell. Alright, let's make sure when the Zenith Guard start to route, which I don't think they will, but if they route, that we can cut off their escape. I'm gonna start putting my like siege equipment here already, my archers as well, just so they're ready for stage two. Like preferably I'd put them on this hill here, just to get that height advantage working for us. There we go. And they're not doing anything at the moment, so... Right. Get in there! Show them who's what! The Avengers just absolutely amazing working in tandem with Smiths as well. You got Small Hammer and Big Hammer. 
Very nice. And then you also have MC Hammer, but he's not relevant at the moment. Man hasn't been relevant since 1999. Are they running? No, they're not running. Ah, oh, whatever. Cav. Alright, can we get rid of those Khazad sentries? Because they're kind of hurting my horses and I don't like that. Very annoying unit. Just because they keep harassing me. Very uncool. Alright, General. Just surrender. There he is. The last of his kind. I love the music. It's so befitting for another Dwarven Fall of Grace. Alright. Did we deal with the sentries? Most of them. You can always count on the heavy cavalry to get the job done. There we go. Are they moving a shield wall? Up a mountain? Are you daft? The enemy army flees the field. Don't Pursue answer that. Alright lads. This battle... Oh, this part of the battle is over. Uh, I'm going to regroup my lads, but I'll quickly make a jump cut. Because otherwise it's going to be a long waiting time for you. So, back in a second. Okay, the AI is being an absolute annoying mf -er. And just keeps pulling back further and further away. I have no reason why. They started moving towards me, then the moment I started to come closer to them, they just started running away. And seeing as I still forgot to turn on the battle time, or off the battle time limit, uh, the time is looking a bit sketchy. So I'm just going to move my Eregon Heavy Knights, try to just get some cheeky damage in, and hopefully that will persuade them to push towards me. I'm also running my lads, which I don't like doing, but luckily my elves have amazing cardio, so... I hope this will suffice, maybe convince them to come forward still. And if not, well, my troops are on the way as quickly as they can. I just thought it'd be a good idea to get my calf, I should probably get all my calf, already involved. And just taking down the ballista is good, you know. Gets the job done. Okay, that might have triggered them to, like, come face me. It's not ideal. The AI is definitely screwing me over here. Because now I'll have to fight it at this advantage. Because my troops will be more tired than they have to be. But better that than having to redo the battle with the battle time limit turned off. You know, I don't want to go through that. But I really need to bloody remember to turn that damn thing off. It's it's a good thing you can you can toggle it. Because sometimes you can use it to your advantage. Sometimes it's really just annoying. But for the most part, I prefer playing with the battle time limit off. It's just better. I don't feel comfortable charging Khazad's sentries head on though, but I might not have a choice. Volunteers? Could charge volunteers. Alright. I'm just gonna have to rush in my infantry, I don't have a choice. But I'll get my archers in position. That timer, it looks like we still have plenty of time, but it can go quick. But we're getting some divide and conquer going on. Most of them are staying behind, some are being sent forward. So maybe we can still twist this to our advantage, but it is annoying. But no. So be it. Plenty of times that the AI has just been dumb in my favor, now they're being dumb against me. It balances out for the most part. Come on, lads. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. I don't mind that you stay behind, but make up your mind. Gods, I'm annoying. See, now they're running away again. I don't, I don't get the AI. That's my main problem. Like, do you want to fight or not? Like, I, I don't care. I mean, you can just surrender because I do them peacefully. That's fine by me, but make up your mind. Gods. It's like that scene from The Notebook, I think. What do you want? What do you want? I know what I want, you to die. See, I'm shooting you now. See, this time limit is... I don't like it. Not one bit. Screw it, let's charge a deep in guard. I know this is suicidal. No, they're moving a shield one, never mind, never mind. That's too suicidal even for me. Alright, my lads are coming in, just a big stream of them coming down the mountain. Uh, it's better than nothing. 
That was a pretty impactful charge. Sneak in behind them, get their ballista. Hope my catapult can pull off some shots. It says they're fighting, I don't know if they are. I'm gonna pop my ability because my troops are way too far anyway. So. Oh, now you're routing? Are you kidding me? All this waiting only for you to just route at first contact? For you to make farting noises in the valley? Gods, you dwarves are useless. Except the dwarves that fight with me, of course. You're great. Alright, lads, come on. We don't have time. Where are you running off to? Okay, I think we'll be okay. Alright, catapults. I don't like where you're firing. From being that high up the mountain, Elrond does have amazing range. If I had a Dwarven catapult now, oof. Really wish I could get my hands on Dwarven artillery, man. That would, I'd use it so well. It would be so good in my hands. I guess I am making fun of the enemy being absolutely useless. Well, actually, all my mocking aside, it seems they're going to actually use their siege equipment. Come on, lads. The timer is not on our side. Move to the side. Don't get stuck by some volunteers. No professionals. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We're getting them nicely surrounded. These guys are gonna rout. Yeah, the morale is so awful. So I think we'll be fine in terms of the timer, but... It does have me sweating a little bit. My casualties aren't too bad. Their morale is getting just worse by the second. Okay. Nice. That should be the final nail in their coffin. Okay. They have lost half their men. There's still time. Careful. That hammer guard will destroy you. Sorry, deeping guard. They'll destroy you even more. How are we looking, boys? We're looking good. We're looking alright. I think those are the final remnants. Okay, they're all gone. Yeah, we should be okay. Deep in guard. Um, you guys stop fighting. Remember when the bounce of power was like, no way, man. Yeah, that didn't age that well. Alright, run them down. Need to make sure that no remnants remain to man Hazadoom. And then I'll do a quick retraining, quick recollection of my troops. But it is very much my intention to get rid of Khazadum the faction as quickly as possible. So that's going to be taking down Erui and then the inevitable horde stack that spawns. Unless we can kill all their faction leader members, whatever, as quickly as possible. The enemy I mean, that's a good result. Vanquished. That's a good this result. A great victory, Who got the most kills? The 211, Eregion Avengers. 203, close. Amanya Swordmaster's impressive. 254, Eregion Heavy Knights with only 4 casualties. Yeah, I think we've got a winner. But still, big up for the Eregion Avengers. They only lost 12 and 3 were due to friendly fire, so yeah. It's alright. They can only be killed by myself, which is fantastic news. Glorious. Goodbye. So there's already an army there, you know. Tharkin. Okay. We should be able to just waltz in. I can't bloody see anything, but... Uh, come on, come on. I know we can click on it. There we go. Hey, let's occupy it. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> We're rich. Let's see, what have we got? A mining complex. We should have Mithril Mines, right? Surely. Yes, Mithril Mines. I was worried for a moment there, but... 
I'm pretty sure every building does something for me. I mean, look at that. As soon as we get these people converted and peace restored, we should have even more money. Um, Archer, I'm not sure if that does anything for me. I'm going to leave it for now. Same with the barracks. The Bridge of Khazadum. Right. Uh, culture. We need culture. Culture, culture, culture. He yeah, has a bit of devastation, a bit of corruption. 1.4k. So if I get rid of that corruption, we will be well above 10k income just from Khazadum. That is good for the treasury. <laughs> Erui isn't really a priority. I want to get rid of it, don't get me wrong, but it's not a top priority. The dwarves won't be really able to do much damage to me now that they've lost Khazadum. So we can happily wait for some reinforcements. Also, Zakkala is now safe. Can't get attacked from anywhere. So these troops that are currently just kind of wasting away, as long as we have 70% happiness, they can go home, get some retraining. Durion. Can I give, like, Gollum away? Just get rid of him. There we go. Take him. I don't want him. Alright, retrain them and then train some new lads. Elder in Rukuna, nice. Let's do that. Kamath Bryn. I got a decent garrison in Kamath Bryn. But most of them are pretty battered up. So nothing like too insane. But I guess I can move that catapult Onward. north. Swiftly. Most of these troops really are dire. Litash will probably get attacked. Khan Doom. We need reinforcements from Myrnil. And then it's of course the matter of moving up here. I'd love to take Ost Galon. It's kind of annoying, I need to do multiple pronged attacks because I need to move my front up as a whole. So ideally I could attack Perthenlun and Ostgalon at roughly the same time. Which is not impossible. I just need to get more information. Now, I know there's armies there, but what's the, the garrison looking like? Ooh, tiny. It's got some troops moving about, but... He's got his faction leader in there, okay. Not that, that matters too much, but it's always nice to take a faction leader down. Um, so we do have Elro here moving in, and he does have some reinforcements, but it will take a while for him to get there. So I think I'll continue with my plan to move the army out of Bree. Uh, I'm probably going to have to leave behind a decent garrison. Yeah, ooh, they are very unhappy. Or I could just leave Antion behind and he can probably govern. Yeah. Of course, I'm short a general then, but... I'll move some reinforcement unless... Yeah, no, this army is going to move out straight away. There's no reason for me to wait. Even though I know the risk is quite high that... The Northern Dunedain will attack me, but let's see. Maybe we can get some um, movement rights so we can walk through their territory without causing a diplomatic disturbance. And then we can move both those armies. Um, sorry, I'm getting lost on the map. The Eladan stack and the Captain Valpamukon stack towards Bri. And that's probably enough to take everything. <laughs> Just finish them off. And then once Elrahir arrives with the reinforcements, we will move towards Ostkoloma. For now, I guess we'll chill a little bit. Getting some troops retrained, you know. That's okay. Um, I really don't have any spare troops lying around. No, no, not really. Nothing worth anything, really. That's a shame. Okay. Okay. We'll just kind of wait. If those guys move out, we'll get them. But for now, we'll just lay low. We have troops moving where we need them to move. It's going to be okay. Stay in the trees. I mean, I don't want to get Myrnil stuck in Kandum forever either. So uh, I'd love to make sure we get public order there. Enemy fleet engaging oh, are you kidding me? An elven fleet being beaten by a dwarven fleet? Oh, that's embarrassing. I'll never hear the end of that. <laughs> Uh, let's see if the Snorks attack me. I'm not sure if that turn already passed by. I believe it still has to come up, but... That's Moria. It would be nice to fight some Snorks when it's 
literally snowing outside. Oh, yeah, there they are. Oh, no, no attack. Okay. Good, good. The longer I can postpone it, the more I can achieve in a riot door, so... It's a happy Izzy. Did they bugger off, though? No. I failed the mission, apparently. Block Ethelons. I literally couldn't. I think I was blocked there. All right. Um, let's talk to the Dunedain. Your orders, as you wish. Guten Tag, my Dunedain friends. Do you want to be allies? Maybe. Oh, I need to be allies in order to get movement. Military access. They're not gonna want that. Until Fine. We again. Until yeah, we will meet again. <laughs> Fine, whatever. I'm just gonna waltz through their lands. I mean, I'm sure they'll still like Eladon, right? Like the wind. I don't want to be stuck in their lands for too long, so I'm gonna park myself oh, right at the edge. Not gonna watch that with that, and then move through in one swift turn. Uh, I think that's just the best idea. Same with this Bree stack. Move him to the edge. Set up an ambush. I need to stick with the roads though. And then move swiftly through. Okay, let's go through the construction log real quick. Ostinitho, public fountains. Good. Um, could go for a Nolder and Amara, but I'm not sure if that's necessary. Or just a mining network. Yeah, we can do it with some extra cash. So I never have to worry about trading troops, you know. Dol Vaughn got upgraded. Let's get the Builder's Guildhouse. Umbal Pilindi. See, these kind of settlements, it might be useful for me to start building an actual fleet. That would be very helpful if I want to go help out Gondor. A fleet could be very useful. I'd also love to take Umbar at one point. We'll have to see. I also don't want this campaign to be 500 episodes, though some people might want that. Alright, no, we need more culture first. Okay, Harland. And Region Kazan. Ah, perfect. <gasps> I can get Linden Long Spears there, that's nice. I mean, they're not crazy good, but they only take three turns to get, and they're a pike unit, so, you know. Pike units are always good. Can Doom, nice, more cultured, please. Lionel has a decent enough garrison there. Volond, what's my culture like? Massive, so let's get the chasm then. I will like an extra spy, even though I just got one, I think. But I need to keep an eye on the dwarves. I mean, I've got good visions from my watchtowers, but... I want to take a peek at the actual settlement. Okay. Dolgulder hates me. Alright. So, wait a second. Dolgulder and the Goblins of Moria were at war with one another? Interesting. I didn't realize that. That is a surprise. Alright. Elrohir. See, I think I'm going to move you separately with your cavalry units, because then you'll be at the front line a lot quicker like the wind. and we'll move the infantry the separately the light. seems like a smarter idea we can wait for the infantry later on but at least we'll be able to move out already oh, normal is fine Let's get as many guys as possible moving to the front um okay can i train anything here no I can train Sindar units here. So it is possible to get Sindar. Nice! Where else can I get them? <laughs> Not here. What, what, what allows me to get Sindar units? The elite ca- the elite chasm. Ah! But it's probably only in like mountainous regions. I should be able to get Sindar here as well, maybe. Yes, I can. Oh, okay, wonderful. That's good. That's just fleshing out the roster, you know? Perfect. Happy with that. My Lord. Conceal our uh, I should probably move, like, some Elder troops warriors. towards him now, just for the retrain. Just whatever possible, you know? Um, Elven warriors. Come on. These guys Elven. can move north. Swiftly. Alongside Please. the catapult. This is the way. I think I'll move all these guys back home for retraining, except you guys, because you can't get retrained. Noldor to Imladris. Dwarfs to an Onrod. Okay. Probably an armor upgrade. Maithelberg has fallen. That's annoying. That puts the high pass at a bit of a risk. So I'm going to move some reinforcements there. 
warriors. My lord. Pull them up. I know the ring is in a bit of danger being stalked by Smeagol, but I don't feel comfortable moving out to Mordor just yet. Like, I, I'm just not ready for it. Elven warriors. Onward. Okay, but soon, my friend, soon. Um, I kind of want to make sure that we can do something from Mythlond towards Perth and Loon. I don't want to move the bulk of the army towards Ostkalon. I could take Ostkalon first and then skip towards Perth and Loon. That's possible as well. Hmm. Kind of difficult. All right, let's make sure we're building where needed. Pelegiant. I'd love to get more troops there, but I guess we'll start with an armor upgrade. Uh, anything worth anything? The high pass. I guess I can get a Kazan there. 67. Yep. So I can start churning out my own units. Okay. Can't do is mighty unhappy. Actually, can we take a look at like the least happy settlements? So we can make them happy with some art. Alright. That's all my money spent. Uh, yeah. Let's see what happens. Troops moving all over the empire. I keep forgetting I, I have lands in the south as well. I never really check on the Rohan and Dundant lands. Which is a bit silly, I know. It is the breadbasket of the Aregion Empire, but won't be for long. Soon I'll have save areas everywhere, and I really just have to protect a couple choke points, and that's going to make life a lot easier. Talking about choke points, I'm going to have to choke this bitch out. Marauder Chief Gurzok the Fearless. I mean, there's a lot of crap in this army. Gurzok himself probably has like Avengers. Yeah, so they're pretty good. Um, but like crap. Decent, decent, decent. Crap, 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 crap. Good. Crap. Decent, decent. Crap. Crap. At this point, crap. So it's a bit of a mixed bag, you know? It's not like Litash has crazy defenses, but we do have Kiryatan. And I'll be damned if I let another son of mine fall, so... We don't have a choice. We need to go all in, win this fight, and maybe look towards a counterattack towards Mount Gundabad itself. That would definitely slow down the Snorks. So let's jump in. Send them back to their underworld. in this battle. Upper hand, my ass. Alright. What have we got? We've got two units of Austin Ethel Rangers, which I'd love to send out and just cause havoc. Especially gonna disable their catapult, I mean. Oh, sorry, the ballista. Um, I do want my archers on the walls, especially the storm guard and the Nolder archers. They can push their siege equipment all they want, it's not gonna matter. Uh, another archer unit up here. Is that all my missile units on the wall? Uh, not you. And not you. Yes, 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 no. Yes. Catapult, if I put you here you might be able to sling rocks at their siege equipment. You know what I'm thinking? There's actually a way where you can destroy all their siege equipment, I'm pretty sure. If I'm lucky with that, they only brought one ram. Oh, no, never mind, they brought multiple rams. Never mind, never mind. And it would be kind of daft if they spent all that time besieging Litash and never built proper siege equipment, but... This is the AI we're talking about, you never know. Alright, let's set up defenses here. I am lacking in... Where the hell were you positioned? Were you up here? My eyes playing tricks on me. Um, no, no defenders. Guys, come on, come on, deploy. In terms of infantry, I'm lacking. In terms of cav and um, archers, I'm quite okay. All right, uh, you guys hold your fire. Get rid of these bastards. So the plan is very much to kill as many of them before they even reach us. So that ballista is not going to do jack shit. You can F off. You are under attack because you're a piece of trash. I mean, in Kiryatan we trust, right? Oh no, we lost an Austin Ethel Ranger. But this man has... Single-handedly crushed Enidwyth. The faction. 
That's pretty much Kiryat on all on his own. Alright, the walk pack. Shoot them. You guys as well. Skirmish if you must. Those guys are assholes. Move to the other side. They do have double hit points, which is why they die slow at first. But see, once they start dropping, they drop fast. They also got massive hitboxes, so they're quite weak to archer fire. So I think the last of them will drop relatively fast now. Still not going to stand still, though. Yeah, that unit's pretty much been neutered. Alright, coming in with the next batch of siege equipment. I forgot to turn off the battle. Ugh, it actually works in my favor this time around, but I need to remember. God damn it, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I really am an idiot. The more I play, the more I realize it. Are they shooting me? Snork scouts? Bastards. You're not allowed to shoot me, only I'm allowed to shoot you. Right, bring forth the first ram. Happily use up all my ammo so they become charge calf. Honestly, move out the Aragon Heavy Knights. <clears throat> the only way we're going to take down those Pale Uruks. I'd love to disable their war riders though. Like, take down the calf first. They got a lot of them. Okay, those Orc Hunters are getting close. Not particularly fond of them. As I'm sure you can imagine. Alright, time for skirmish tactics. So those guys, they're gonna chase me. If I can lure them closer towards my wall, my archers can take care of them. I don't want to move in my Aragon Heavy Knights as long as these guys are around, and the other units by extension. So just shoot them. They will chase us. They're tanky though, I'm surprised they're not going down quicker. Okay, they're moving their ram. 27 pale rooks. They're about 100 short, my friend. Let's see if the catapult can pull off something magnificent. Alright, if Snork Scouts want to have some fun, I'll gladly give it to them. I just hope my catapult doesn't do friendly fire, that's all I'm worried about. You motherfucker. Oh. Alright. This plan is not working. I'll just rely on the archers. It's fine. It's fine. They're gonna go down. It's okay. And I can just do a quick little nudge with the other units. Um, hold. It's okay. It's gonna be alright. Alright, let's do a quick calf sandwich. Okay, nice charge. That ram has been neutralized. Knowing the AI, they'll never use that ram again because it's been touched by a different unit, so they've got cooties now. I wanted to pause them from firing, but not from charging, didn't work out. Still a bit worried with their calf running around, but so far they haven't really done anything. Alright, let's keep firing now. Try to get rid of your ammo. Okay, they're sending in the next batch. Attempt number three. Ballista didn't work. Ram didn't work. What's next? Alright, those Snork Scouts need to go. They're really annoying me. My Storm Guard are almost out of ammo. They're just constantly fighting. Alright, maybe save your ammo for now. If you still have ammo. These guys are scarcely worth our time. Yeah, their morale is going to be quite high with their chieftain. Yeah. Okay, bringing in the second ram. Banned by Orc Avengers. Okay, that's going to be El General himself. If those guys come in range, you are more than free to fire. 
See if we can kill the chieftain early on. That will make things quite a lot easier. Alright, fire away, boys. It's a shame my storm guard are out of ammo, but they have used that ammo well. Let's go for the a little bit of a cheeky breaky charge already. Once those guys clean up the orc hunters, not a problem. Screw you! Good charge, but not good enough. Pull back. Yeah, those guys are dangerous, but we did an alright number on them. But at least we bought us some time. Where more archers can get shots in. Don't fire at those guys, fire on them. And here come the mountain guard. He's like, don't worry dad, I got this. That's how uh, snow walks talk. Oh, they're just escorting daddy away. Old man Gurzog. Oh, they're sending in another ram, okay. One manned by Hillman? <laughs> Please. Uh, let's beat this up a little bit, man. I don't have all day. Calf sandwich! The ultimate calf sandwich. Though a bit of a delayed one. What did Miyazaki say? A delayed calf sandwich will always be better than a rushed calf sandwich or something along those lines. I'm paraphrasing. You get the gist of it. Alright. Pull out, pull out. Don't get the hillman pregnant. You absolute donuts. You've already lost a quarter of your men, you've achieved nothing. You're gonna go for that ram again? That's a surprise. Normally the AI doesn't reuse rams, but I guess they don't have a choice. I mean, I don't consider this cheesing. I'm just using my advantage, and my advantage is cavalry, so, you know. I know that leads to the AI kind of being silly with the ram, but I'd be stupid not to use my main advantage. My two main advantages, cav and archers. I'm not going to win in terms of infantry. I mean, this is this is all I've got. No. All right, what's next? Another ram. You just keep pulling them out of your ass, and it's again the orc avengers. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let them come closer. Maybe I'll wait a little bit so they're in tower range before I go ham. So I'll like run around here, just past the ballista. And my archers will also get some extra shots off. Okay. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Now. It would be funny if I could light it on fire now. That would require a lot of luck. Hey, nice! Definitely a... Oh, we decimated the unit! I didn't expect the general to die, let alone kill almost the entire unit. Because the last calf charge went so poor, but... We must have hit them just right. That's going to impact morale. That's absolutely going to impact morale. Dead, no! Dead, yes. Sorry, that sounded a lot more wrong than I had in mind. Kiryatan! Where is Kiryatan? Is that Kiryatan? Look at him, he's just beautiful! He kind of reminds me of uh, Daemon Targaryen. I don't know why, it's probably the helmet. From Game of Thrones. Well, not Game of Thrones, but... Uh, Fire and Blood. Alright, well, if you're not going to do anything... Ah, there we go. Another batch coming in. I'm going to let my catapult free fire. I'll bring the storm guard down and I'll move the older archers a bit to the side. And my catapult will have free reign. Because I think they can actually achieve some fun stuff. One, two, three, four rams. Have they got any more just lying around in the back? No. Still have those ladders and siege towers though, which they haven't used yet. I mean, Orc Fighters are definitely a squishy target, so... Oh! Oh! 
Bad idea, sending in my catapult. What's the chance of Kiryatan just getting a rock to the face? Yeah, they're all this crap now. Good. Wunderbar. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, guys, I think this battle's over. Oh my god, catapult! Whew! I'm getting all hot and bothered here, like, actually doing good stuff. Glorious. Yeah, go ham. I'll even let the ballista have some fun. At this point, I almost want to allow them in. I'm like, alright, you know what, guys? You've held out for this long. I think if I charge those goblin infantry, they'll also rout. Just picking off the weaker and just more cowardly units. Those hillmen, for example, they'll also rout. No doubt about their route. I'll pull back from the charge because I don't like the way those snork spears looked at me funny. They're gone. Pale Uruks. Pretty sure I could take down some Pale Uruks. But I don't know if I must. I think they're getting themselves killed just nicely. But of power is still like, oh, this could definitely go either way. To be fair, they still have half that army left, but not the best half. Definitely not the best half. Coming in with a new ram, who is it? Goblin infantry. Guys, you need to send in your runets, your runets, your units with better morale, or they're just gonna rout. Like, look. I mean, that's just gonna keep happening. You know this. Send in the remnants of your mountain guard. This is just pathetic. What are those guys? Orc fighters? I didn't even realize they were part of the battle. Black Shield War, I mean, it's better. But you're inching closer to the gate, sure, but. The enemy are badly bloodied. It is marginal at best. Alright, I don't like my catapult right now, it's a little bit too risky frisky and I don't want that on my conscious, not a, after what we're doing right now. Just pulling off amazing beats of strength. Boom. Okay, it's the Pale Urug's gone. I love these Austin Ethel Rangers, they're just amazing. The last of the Orc Avengers. Battle seems to be swinging in our favor. Yeah, you bet. Such tidings does victory emerge. You bet. Let's watch Kiriatan die on the charge like his brother. Nah. I do think Kiriatan has more battle experience than Ecthelion did. Just from all the shenanigans that didn't wait. Though charging spears head on is always a bit risky. Yeah, there might be a good chance of me taking Gundabad after this. Smoke spears are my main problem, but we're dealing with them handsomely. And of course the mountain guard, they're still a bit of a threat. Uh, can my towers not be fighting? Oh, they are fighting, okay. Come on, boys. There we go. If we Clean them up. This, we will smash the enemy. Do I dare go for the sneaky charge on the mountain guard? Or do I let them actually burst open the gate so they send their wargs in and die? Perhaps that is the best way for me to actually get the rest of the army out. Nah. Judge. The enemy are battering down the gates. Oh, police. Actually got like a double ram or something silly like that. What the hell are they doing? Who opened the gate? What kind of mad lad? I'm not even mad. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That's what I get for being cocky. I don't pay attention for two seconds and suddenly there's a massive warg attack. All right, luckily there's another gate here. And luckily they can't beat me. 
The walls are no longer ours. The enemy have taken them. And they just kind of ignore Kiriata. Okay. Luckily, my storm guard has skilled against mounts. I mean, that's a clean way to deal with the remnants. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Hello. Yes, yes, yes. I'll clean you all up. Don't worry about it. Where is that general? He's in here somewhere. Oh. Well, that's not good. Uh, someone help out the Lindar. <laughs> they require assistance. Take all the warband. Okay. They're gonna come in now. I think I can just send in my infantry. I want to get this battle over with, man. This was a long fight. I'm only going to be able to do like two battles in this entire recording. Two massive battles, mind you, but still. Boom. Hm. Surprised that wasn't an instant route. Is very much in our favor. Let's try Victory again. Will be ours. Okay, these warband are tanky. I'll give them that. Ah, there we go. 92%, uh, but I should be able to run them down. Okay, this guy's just... Oh my god. They bugged out. They routed, right? Oh no, they didn't route. What? That's weird. But I won the fight. That's very weird. I'd love to still clean them up, though. Not to run any risks of the army not being destroyed. Okay. There we go. That makes me feel all happy and secure. <laughs> Look at that! This is a great That's amazing. The of Absolutely amazing. Kiryatan, you rock. Alright, goodbye. Is that all you got, punk? I'm about to send a spy to your precious mountain and see if I can loot some stuff. At the very least, try to burn it to the ground. Oh, actually, I don't need a spy. If I stop getting... Oh, Edoras has fallen. I mean, I could just waltz in there and take it. But do I really want to cause another war? I don't know. Bad news, though, that Edoras has fallen. That does put Guineard in a bit of a prickly situation. So I'm going to have to move some troops to Guineard to make sure we don't get attacked. Yes, my lord. Elves! Fangorn, we have catapults in both settlements. We have more than enough powerful men. I'll throw in some extra other anyway though. Always makes me feel happy and secure. Okay. Construction. Corvillishar has been upgraded. Nice. Let's get those roads up and running because I want good roads all over the place. Noldor, Barracks and Imladris. Good, 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 good. Just train everything. And build. Mm, my network isn't really that good. Probably still the better. Uh, let's actually get the great roads first. Mikkel Delving, an art gallery. I think we'll also upgrade the roads there. And that's my money spent, just like that. Economy isn't that crazy strong just yet. But we are getting there. War is expensive, my friends. War is very expensive. Um, let's see, I need some information. Angsul, Gobadrain. I want to take those pretty much at the same time. I was so quick through your lands. Oh, not even, like, it's not the Dunedain that got mad. Actually, our relationship improved. It's all the other factions that got mad for the Dunedain, which is very peculiar. But then he can move towards Ang Sol. This army can move towards Gobadrain. Smug bastard. Um, and that should be just fine, Broderick. Should be able to take those without really any issue. Now you keep an eye on Mount Gundabad. It's just the general and its defenders. I could take it. I'll leave that up to you guys whether or not I should take Mount Gundabad. It would slow down their recruitment a lot. So in that regard, Come, my brothers. could be recommended. Like Alright, let's give Elrahir an army. I 
don't think he needs much. If we take a look at the garrison of Ostgalon, it is pretty weak. There's nothing that crazy in there. I'd love to keep some troops on reserve from under towers to move towards the dwarves. So there's not much of a problem actually, because if I take Ostgalon with a decent enough army, the dwarves could try to attack me, but they're not going to be successful. I doubt they'll try to go for under towers. They don't even border under towers at that point. They'd have to go to Mithlond or Ostgalon. So if I move some troops towards Mithlond, I would like to get a boat to do so. Then they don't have much of a choice. Under towers doesn't need a huge garrison. So these troops, for example, will be more than sufficient to defend Mithlond. Then Elrohir can get pretty much the rest of the army with the Mikkel Dolvin guys. That's more than enough troops to take Ostgalon. So I don't want you to go through Anuminas. I know those roads are better, but... Okay. Is Longbottom happy enough for now? Ah, the Rokun can join. Boom! I mean, that's that made it even better. And these reinforcements can join for when needed. Unless Farlin now moves towards Under Towers, we're fine. If he does, Elrohir can make a quick sidestep. We'll march on Ostgalon, then we'll also take Gobodrain and Angsul, and then it's just a matter of one more settlement, and Bree's gone. I can divert my full attention on Erluin. And if I take Thorin's Halls, I can't imagine them pumping out too many troops. Eredluin kind of suffers from the same issue I do. They can't get their troops all that quickly, you know? It takes time. See, I'm getting more troops. Imlabid especially got some extra troops. That's quite good. They will go towards the high pass. Looks so like they're already looking to move. Bastards. Never trust a snook. Okay. Please hold on, Caliborn. So yeah, kind of the question that remains, do I dare move out and strike at the snooks at Mount Gundabad? It could be a worthy target. Litash is a good choke point, but Mount Gundabad is just as good at choke points. And it would slow him down a bit, so I, I'm... I can be persuaded to do so. I have the manpower for it, that's not the problem. Alright, so all in all, I need to round it off now, because this episode's already going to be quite long, I think. Um, but we defended Litash against a very big force, we took down the faction leader of the Snorks. At the same time, we took Khazadum, which is massive, Elrond had a pretty easy time with that. Um, moving troops all over the place. Edoras has fallen into the hands of Mordor, so we do need to prepare a Giniad and Fangorn. Possibly look towards pushing out ourselves. Uh, we can't trust Rohan to do so, so maybe the time has come for me to not sit around any longer and, and use my forces. I do have a nice, healthy army. If I leave behind like a Lindar unit in Guinea, they can keep the peace. So I could push towards Tedras, and then that would just be my bottleneck. And if I can push all the way out towards Kalanhad, that would be a very nice settlement to hold. Worth considering. Again, I'll leave that up to you guys, to my council. Apologies, this is he has to call me now, which is not a good time. Um, now I'm distracted. <laughs> At the same time, I'm moving troops towards Bree, so they're very close to falling. We have two armies moving, one on Angsul, one on Gobodrain, and then another one, Orohir, moving to Ostgalon, and they only have one settlement remaining afterwards. Up here, I believe, Fjorost. Big armies, but crappy armies. Not even Woody is going to defend you from that. And then Eredwin is just a small adventure. And at that point, if the Dunedain haven't attacked me yet at that point, they really are too late to do so because I can just attack them from all sides and just get it over with quickly. Alright, that's all for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. I had a lot of fun with it, um, especially with that Siege of Khazadum. And with that said, I hope to catch you all soon for the next one. Ta-ta, lads.